Hey guys, this is Diaphim coming in with a character overview of Cagliostro in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Cagliostro is differentiated from the rest of the cast by being the first character added to the game with traps. But unlike most trap style characters from other games, her traps can be navigated by most of the cast pretty easily. But she has other tools to help compensate for this, which give her good offense, space control, and make her a viable contender with a versatile playstyle. Man, Diaphone, your NLBC champion for this week. Some of the reasons you might want to play this character are Her specials allow for good space control. Um, for example, her teleport gives you unique movement options that force people to cover options and give you some freedom in how you want to play your neutral. Her traps control space and her kit forces people to approach. She also has great anti-zoning tools such as Spear and 5U that force people to come to you. Her 5L and 2L are really good for pressure, and she has good specials that also help extend her pressure, such as traps. And she also has a strong 5H. It's easily hit confirmable due to multi hits, and it's tough to whiff punish, and the specials you can cancel into are good. This character does have some weaknesses. Her traps are easily defeatable by some characters. She has no DP or armor move for reversal outside of super. She has inconsistent punishes and hit confirms, such as combos into hula hoop not being a combo due to distance, or anti-air confirms whiffing depending on the distance. So let's talk about her playstyle. Her gameplay centers around her trap. Her light trap is close, the medium trap is further away, and the EX spawns two traps. Traps can also be done in the air. She can move after she does the EX trap, um, she can come down with a button or a teleport for example. After the opponent moves over the trap, Slate the Lay of Thorns will come out and the opponent will be stuck in blocks stun or hit stun. The hit stun lasts long enough that you can actually run up and get a combo for most places on screen. Her trap can be defeated by either hitting it with a low hitbox attack, just waiting for them to disappear, a fancy forward advancing move, or for some characters, just running through the trap. So, you can't just hide behind traps, instead you need to take a more active approach. So what do you do? Well, against a waiting opponent, you have the ability to charge your 5 move. At full charge, you can release a forward, basically get it for free, or get a combo on hit. So in order for you not to get this full charge, the opponent will need to approach, which draws them closer to your traps. Once they get closer to your traps, they will try other ways to beat them. If opponent is using normals to clear the traps, you can whiff punish their normal with your 5H, 2U, or 2M, and these all special cancel. If they are running forward, you can stick out preemptive normals, same idea. I personally like to stick out 5H or 2M as well. 5H is a strong normal to use because it's multi-hitting, which lets you confirm it in the Hulu hoop, um, whether it be L Hulu, H Hulu hoop, or you can actually confirm it in the super. Um, to use another strong option, hanging low, reaches further than stand heavy, but it is a little harder to hit confirm. Board advancing safe moves are the toughest to deal with this keg, but typically they are minus and you can press your advantage afterwards. Teleports are also good to make you these moves with. Light version goes backwards, medium version goes forward, and heavy version actually goes right next to the opponent and has a little less recovery than the M version. Also, cool thing is you can do these in the air. These are really good for trying to bait out anti-air or just trying to misdirect your opponent in general. One other thing about the heavy version is that if you do it up close, it is a launcher. So you do get a combo. The other thing is that on block is actually plus one, which lets you continue pressure either by a 2L or throw or whatever you want afterwards. Another option is the opponent will stand outside the trap range and wait to see what you will do or try to counter zone. This is where her spear special comes into play. You can use the spear to push them into a trap and make them block or get a full combo on hit. The light version pushes them away, the medium version pushes them closer, and the EX allows combo follow-ups in the corner. Spears are minus, but safe except for the medium version up close against characters with a 5 frame normal. Throwing a trap and then a spear at the right range is a really powerful option due to the combo you get on hit and the opponent must respect this. So once you get them to sistle or block, or after you get a knockdown, what do you do? Your standard throw or universal overhead or shimmy mixup still applies here, just like it does for any other character. Her crouch light and stand light are both good pressure tools, and can hit confirm into light or heavy hula hoop. If your opponent is mashing buttons in your block string, you can do crouch medium or any normal into light or medium speed. On counter hit, you actually get a combo by linking in the stand light. 
Another option is to cancel on the teleport. A or B teleport space you far enough that you can whiff punish their attempt to mash a close door. If the opponent just wants to sit there and block, you can cancel into trap and extend your pressure. Another thing you can do is use EX teleport to catch them off guard. There are a few combos you'll need to learn with this character. The first is being able to hit confirm, crotch light into her stand light into either her hula hoop or SBA. The second is her counter hit anti-air combo. You do 2H into medium trap, run forward, hit 5H into medium hula hoop. You can also cancel the third hit of 5H in the EX teleport and then do a 5H hula hoop for more damage and side switch. The third combo you need to learn is a corner combo. Take any starter into EX hula hoop. <laughs> Afterwards, you do 5 MMM into EX Spear into Sweep into her Medium Trap. Hold up afterwards for a safe jump. So this just covers the basics of the character. If you're looking to be a high level CAG player, some additional concepts you might want to consider are um, she actually has different ways to fuzzy you, so her jump light into EX teleport does work as an instant overhead on some characters, you can link super afterwards. She can also fuzzy after her jump heavy, but it's very hard. Definitely recommend this being one of the last things you practice. She also has advanced anti-air combos. Instead of canceling 2H in the medium trap, you can actually cancel the EX trap for some additional follow-ups and get some additional damage. She can also use her EX trap to create strong Oki and pressure situations that still need to be fully flushed out. I hope this guy gives you an idea of how to play Kag Leostro. Her gameplay is fun, and she still has a lot of depth to explore. I want to leave you guys with one of my fave Kag matches from a recent stream I did to give you a better idea of how she should be played. If you're looking to see high level Grand Blue play or just learn more about the game, consider stopping by my stream, link in the description below. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. Take care guys. Believe in victory. Battle one, engage! <laughs> What? Yo, her hurt box is actually trash. Alright, we take those, I guess. Yo, Nabu meets turn up. How you doing? I mean, take care. I don't know how you doing. Take care, man. Alright, check out this mech. Ooh! Yo, let's go. Run up teleport is the shit, bro. I'm telling you. I can't believe I made it all that with. Our anti is fucking trash. Uh, that's good. I should have done it again. <laughs> that's, that's how we're feeling. Uh, Burgerita, I think it takes like a couple months. It does take a while. They're, ESL's pretty slow on paying shit out. I teleported right into him. 
<laughs> Thank you for just rolling into my trap. Appreciate it, bro.